All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a read-only text channel inside of Discord. And the whole idea here is when you make a read-only channel, it's good for a few things. One of them, a lot of people use them for rules so that, you know, there's always going to be a channel at the top of the server that shows you what all of the rules and expectations of the server are, and if you don't follow them, you can't pretend like you don't know that they're there. Another way that they do that is with an announcements channel. I use that to broadcast things like my latest videos when I make a new tutorial. Then there's also a server updates channel where Discord posts the latest news about new features coming to Discord, and then also some changes that we make to the server as we make them, or other special events. And so that's what I'm going to show you how to make here today. So let's go to my test channel, and then we'll just go start from the general tab, and we're going to make a read-only section. So I'm just going to right-click and create a new category. Let's call that the read-only channels. And then we'll just put that at the top. And then from here, there's a couple ways that we can do channel permissions. The first one is we can edit the category, and then we can go into permissions, go to at everybody, and then the only real permission that you have to change is the send messages permission, set everyone, the everyone role, make it so that they can't send messages in these channels. Now, depending on what you do in these channels, another couple of permissions that you might want to do is remove people's ability to add reactions, because then people will start spamming a bunch of really weird emojis or trying to spell out something vulgar using emojis and it can become a problem depending on your server. So from there, we can create new channels so that we can go to, click the little plus symbol, go to create new channel, and let's say this is the rules channel, and we'll hit enter. And then we'll just say like rule one, be civil. Rule two, no harassment. Rule three, no, not safe for work content, like gore or pornography. And then like four, no link spam. And then five, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You, you know whatever your rules are on your server. So from here, this should have inherited the permissions for everybody to not send any messages in this channel and then not add reactions. And if you see people doing things like putting on a bunch of stickers on things, you can always turn that off in the rest of these different permissions. And that's really 90% of how you prevent people from talking in read-only text channels is just denying them the permission to send messages. Now, people ask me a lot, what sort of rules do you use in your read-only text channel, Larry? Because I keep having people talking in those channels and I don't know why. Well, there's a couple ways that that could be happening. So if I pop in here to mine, like if I go to the server stuff, and I edit the channel, my permissions in here are literally just don't send messages and don't add reactions. And you'll notice nobody else really talks in here or spams in here except me my moderator, and my admin. So the only way that somebody could get access to posting in here is if they have another set of rules inside that channel that gives them the ability to send messages. So make sure you double check that, and if so, remove that permission from anybody in that channel that you don't want to be able to post in your read-only text channel. It's also worth noting that if you go into your server settings, and you go down to your roles, and you find your admin, it says in the permissions down here at the bottom under administrator, giving someone administrator permissions means you give them all permissions across the entire server, which means they can go into any channel, they can post in any channel, they can log into any voice channel, and speak in any voice channel, no matter what you do. You cannot block an admin from doing those things. If you have an admin who's not sticking with the plan of having a read-only text channel that they don't just spam nonsense in, 
maybe you shouldn't have them as an admin anymore, and you should remove that permission by toggling this off right here. It's just that simple. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been a brief look at how to make a read-only text channel. It's honestly really simple. It's literally one permission. Go to the settings, go to the permissions for that channel specifically, and then say send messages and deny them that ability. That's it. You can even see this verified on the official Discord wiki, which I will link in the video description below. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Do the likey, subscribe thing, and I'll catch you later. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.